Good morning, Delta Woods. I'm Cameron Waters, this week's host for Gator Vision. In this episode of Gator Vision, you'll be seeing City State Nation news, high school sports, updates on the Delta Woods track team, an entertainment review, and a fun game to get you involved. Now on with this week's segment for Gator Vision. In this week of Gator Vision, we're going to be catching up on the latest news for City, State, and Nation. For City News, sophomore basketball star Jada Williams recently committed to UCLA. Jada led the Blue Springs Wildcats to a 16-6 run, winning the district's championship for the second consecutive year. At only 16 years old, she's averaging 19.1 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 3.6 assists per game. After receiving many Division I scholarship offers from big schools such as Illinois and Syracuse, she's chosen to become a Bruin. In the state as of now, all Missouri adults can get the Phase 3 vaccine. Anyone over the age of 16 will be eligible for vaccination starting April 9th. Exciting news has been released as scientists conclude that the COVID-19 vaccine is 100% effective in kids ages 12 through 15. Be ready for a fun summer. For national news, March Madness has finally come to a victor. On April 5th, Baylor took home the gold after beating the undefeated Gonzaga 86-70. Many fans predicted Gonzaga to have an easier matchup against Baylor after a tough game versus UCLA, but Baylor proved their seed and came out as a 2021 March Madness champion. I'm Eva Ermacher for Gator Vision. Now on with high school sports and updates on the track team. Delta Woods boys and girls track teams off to a great season so far. The boys team has won both of their meets that they have competed in, and the girls team has won both of their meets as well. Keep up the great work, Gators. Blue Springs sophomore student Jada Williams has recently committed to UCLA. She is ranked the 13th best player in her class of 2023, and she's also been offered many other scholarships from Arkansas, Baylor, Oklahoma, Missouri, Notre Dame, and Texas. Williams says, I know in my heart this is the best choice for me, not only on court, but also to help me develop into the person God wants me to become. At Blue Spring South, the volleyball team is holding a campaign to help raise money for travel expenses, new uniforms, equipment, and locker room updates. Make sure you try to donate and show your support to the team. The link to donate is on the screen, or check out the Blue Spring South homepage. I'm Neva Poults for Gator Vision. Good luck to the track team. Now on with an instructional video from some of our Gators. Welcome back to this week's segment of Gator Vision. Today we are going to show you guys how to do great on the math test. Make sure to get a good night's sleep of about eight hours so your brain is fresh in the morning and ready to math test. Make sure to eat a good healthy breakfast in the morning so your brain is fresh and ready to learn. To get ready for map testing, we will have lockers. Simply place your backpack in the locker, taking and leaving all iPhones, Apple Watches, etc. Make sure to keep in mind, other students are testing, so we will have to be quiet and make sure to silence your phone, just like Faith is doing here. Once you are done testing, make sure to grab everything out of your locker and make sure to leave the locker door open for the teacher to sanitize for the next group of kids map testing. Follow these tips and you'll do great at the map test. Good luck, Gators. I'm Izzy and I'm Emerson for Gator Vision. Now onto the entertainment review. It's time the show that's looking for this, but ends up finding this. Today on Entertainment Review, we'll be reviewing the fifth season of Nailed It. This new season of Nailed It has six episodes, each being around 35 minutes long. Nailed It Season 5 came out on Friday, March 26, and seems to be a hit with a rating of 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. The cooking show isn't like any other, so join Nicole Byer, Jacques Torres, and a special celebrity guest as they judge three not-so-great bakers. I hope you enjoy Nailed It. However, I failed it. And now there's teams of two, so double the mess, double the trouble. Smells a little fishy. Could it be nailed it? Yes, it is! <laughs> this season is a team competition. Double trouble. Together we are stain my hair. I'm gonna... And with double the help, maybe we'll get a better cake? Lord help me. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I'll pull them out now. That's what I was doing anyway. That is so ugly. I'm Laura Meniscal for Gator Vision. 
This new science fiction and action movie produced by Adam Wingard combines some of your favorite monsters and actors in a jam-packed film. We have to take it. In this screenplay, Kong clashes with Godzilla as humans attempt to bring a giant ape into a hollow earth to retrieve an energy source for her advice to stop Godzilla's mysterious rampages. This is a sequel to both Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Kong Skull Island. This movie is rated PG-13 with a 76% Rotten Tomatoes. You can find it in your local movie theater or on HBO Max. We encourage you to watch this fun film, but before you do, let us know who you think will win. Around Delta Woods, map testing has officially started. Our 8th graders are taking the science map test, and everybody will be taking ELA and math map tests within the next few weeks. Remember to be mindful of the testers while walking through the halls. Student Council is also doing another fundraiser. Now we will take it to more Gators for information on the fundraiser right now. Student Council is holding a fundraiser in the month of April. Lakewood Local is a family-friendly restaurant with a variety of foods. Here are some more details. Every Tuesday during April, you can eat at Lakewood Local and mention Delta Woods, and 25% of every order will go towards Student Council Delta Woods. Lakewood Local is located in Northeast Lakewood Boulevard and has indoor and outdoor seating. They have a variety of foods from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have desserts, too. 25% of every order will be donated to Student Council of Delta Woods. Make sure you check out this cool restaurant. I'm Reese Cornine for Gator Vision. Thank you, Gators. Now on with the fun game. I'm Cameron Waters, and this has been this week's segment for Gator Vision. Have a good day, Gators! <laughs>